Gonna make a big pot of chili. Got four pounds of, what was it, four pounds? Four and a half. Four and a half pounds of uh, lean ground beef. Gonna brown this. Put a little olive oil down the skillet just because it's so lean, keep it from potentially sticking. This tool is really handy. It um, allows you to break up the meat less than so. What's the red part for, babe? It's kind of like a spatula. It's bendy, like you can oh, scrape the edge with it. I see. Yeah, the red part lets you scrape. The three black wings are more stiff. Nice tool. I don't know what you call it. Good bit of Worcestershire sauce, as you saw. I'm gonna give this meat good flavor. We're just gonna spoon it out through a slotted spoon in order to put it over here in the cooking pot when we're ready. Four beef bouillon cubes. I'm gonna crush those up. We'll add extra beef flavor to this ground beef. Just crushed up bouillon cubes, four of them, about one per pound of uh, ground beef that you're working with. We'll just uh, mix this in. So rather than draining the skillet, we're just going to use a, a spoon. It's got the holes in it there to uh, spoon the ground beef, draining off what little fat there is. There's not a lot because this is 93.7 ground beef. Just take it over here, drop it in the pot, one spoon at a time. So I'm dicing up. Two pretty good sized Vidalia onions. And we have four bell peppers, like different colors. It shows up as that color in the final product. And there you see my secret ingredient there in the background. Anyway, we're gonna dice this up, get it in the skillet. Not the skillet, the pot. The um, Worcestershire sauce and the bouillon cubes, I notice uh, it makes even the fat from the burger taste good but uh, I did drain as much of it as I could, but um, it doesn't have that usual fatty taste from ground beef that you would get if you didn't have those ingredients. I found a video on one university YouTube how to do these bell peppers, how to dice them. You cut each end off and um, then you come in near one of the membranes where it connects and just go right through there along that. And you just unroll it and um, you know, there's the center part and get all of that out of there and on the end get that one and it's pretty clear there you just well got a little bit too much on the end of it take that and yeah unroll it and just cut this in strips <clears throat> whatever width you want this is going in chili so i want them kind of small pieces them together like that and that's what you're left with these little pieces here if you catch a piece that needs another chop let's give it what, it what you need to there and that'll do it okay i've added about three or four cups of water at the bottom of that and the pot's on the stove now we're going to mix in two cans of Hunt's tomato paste, two cans of light red kidney beans. I'm gonna use three packages of original chili McCormick's. Oh, there's another it's a secret ingredient, V8. Instead of using so much water, use V8, it makes a difference. And some garlic powder. I'm gonna get all this mixed together and get it simmering. We're going to replace one packet of the 
McCormick's chili seasoning with one packet of Lipton onion soup mix. I think it's generic, but it's the same. Um, and I put two teaspoons of garlic powder in. We have some sugar, which if it's too tangy, it'll knock the tang off from that tomato paste. We'll just add it until it knocks the tang off. I learned that little trick from Clemenza from The Godfather. We drained the kidney beans. We've got them in there. We got the packets of McCormick's in there. Get ready to add this. And we're going to get some V8 in there and let's see what we got in a minute. I'm gonna pour in some V8. And that's just the regular flavor. I think this is low sodium, but it doesn't make any difference. And normally you'd add some water, but we're using V8. Kenny's original camp stew. You gotta get you some of this. You can order it online. I don't know. I think they just sell direct. It's not real expensive, and man, this is good. I got a good bit in there, a little over a tablespoon, I'm sure, but uh, this is mostly um, celery, um, celery salt and um, got some um, cayenne in there and it's got uh, garlic and so forth. Anyway, we're gonna probably put a little more V8 in and I'll be back when, with you in a minute. Okay, it's been simmering for about 90 minutes. It's Looking really good already. Tasted a sample of it. Uh, it's not too tangy at all from the tomato paste, so I'm not going to add the sugar. But if you make your chili and you got a little bit of a tang to it, use uh, Clemenza's trick. Put your little sugar in there. I'll tame it right down. Okay, I'm getting ready to try the finished product here. It's good. There you go. Put me on camera. Um, so full confessions, we added two more pounds of ground beef because we learned we had some more people coming. And I put two cans of black beans into the mix and another two, two more packets of the McCormick chili seasoning. Smells great. Mmm, perfect. I think the cat wants some. It's not too spicy, but it's spicy enough. If you try the recipe, let me know what you think in the comments.